The following report contains some disturbing images. This is the car in which Chowdhury Zulfikar's life as one of Pakistan's most high-profile prosecutors came to a gruesome end. In broad daylight, in a busy middle-class suburb of Islamabad, gunmen opened fire as Mr. Zulfikar drove away from his home. His bodyguard was wounded after showing great valour in trying to fend off the attack, according to the police. A woman passerby was also killed. At this hospital, Chowdhury Zulfikar was pronounced dead. Chowdhury Zulfika, seen outside the anti-terrorism court to which he was travelling when he was killed. He was to attend another hearing in connection with the unresolved murder of the former Prime Minister Benazir Bhutto in 2007. She died in a gun and suicide attack after a campaign rally in Rawalpindi. Chowdhury Zulfika had pushed the court to speed up proceedings against Pakistan Taliban members detained for her murder. He'd also initiated the recent move to arrest in the same case Pervez Musharraf, who was Pakistan's ruler at the time of Benazir Bhutto's murder, alleging that he had aided and abetted her killing. Mr Musharraf came back to Pakistan after four years of self-imposed exile in March, intending to return to politics. But this is one of a string of legal cases currently thwarting his ambitions. Chowdhury Zulfika was also close to submitting final evidence against seven militants held in connection with the attack in the Indian city of Mumbai in 2008 that killed more than 160 people. Pakistan is no stranger to violence, particularly in these past few weeks in the run-up to the elections on May the 11th. But a targeted attack of this kind here in the capital is more rare. For now, it's unclear who carried out the attack and why. The election-related violence has now taken a new turn with this. The killing in Karachi of Sadiq Zaman Khatak and his six-year-old son. Sadiq Zaman Khatak was a candidate for the secular Awami National Party, one of the parties which had been directly threatened by the Pakistan Taliban, who have branded the elections un-Islamic. It's also the first time that a National Assembly candidate has been killed in the campaign. It's been a day when the challenges facing Pakistan have been graphically underscored. Mike Aldridge, BBC News, Islamabad.